Hi, who is going to jump first from the climate change cliff? It's a very interesting thought. The, the, the you go first phenomena means that if someone has to go first, no one goes at all. And you can get this picture of all the nations of the world as a giggling little group on the edge of the climate change cliff nudging each other in, in the ribs saying, oh, no, you go first. You, no, you. No, you. No, you go first. Oh, no, not me. I'm going after you. Thank you. Um, as the glaciers melt, the reefs fade, the sea level rises. <laughs> what a giggling lot of Gerties. And that's really what they're sounding like. Thankfully, I did read stirrings of strengths from the G20 summit. Several countries do want to link developing a green economy with, our, with, with getting out of the um, current red. Germany in particular is keen to go green and increase the number of green jobs as a way of getting out of the red. The crazy thing is that simply turning things off when we're not using them can save us a decent percentage of our power bills and reduce our carbon emissions by the same amount. So why is everyone so reluctant to start? I realise that changing large organisations is a bit like steering the Titanic because they're deeply resistant to change. However, the biggest employer group overall is small to medium business. And small business in particular are much more flexible. They would love to make savings on their bottom line if they only realised just how easy it is. When I added ISO 14001 to my existing quality system, I did a review of what I was using and found it very easy to change, to reduce my power consumption by well over 20%. And I was already being careful before that. And that's only electricity. There are other avenues for saving as well. So why doesn't, don't people just get on with it and go green? Um, start cutting their carbon. Stop worrying about what anyone else thinks.